Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we're going to talk about the most useful draw shots in pool. Now, a lot of people like the long, sexy draw shots and nobody likes them as much as I do. But the reality is about 80% to 90% of the shots that you need are relatively short, relatively easy shots. So today I'm gonna to show you what falls into that 80 to 90% group because this is where your practice should be. Yes, you wanna have the nine foot draw shot, I understand, but this is where your practice should be and these are the ones that you should specialize in, for now at least, so that you can build up to the other shots. But these are the ones that are going to get you out in some trouble situations that are gonna come up more frequently at this level than some of the trouble situations that are gonna come up at other levels. And the bottom line is if you're playing good position along the way, then you run into less trouble situations, right? So let's get started. Some of the shots that I show you are going to look very simple, but it is mind boggling how many intermediate players do not have these shots in their game for one reason or another, usually because they're unable to execute the draw shot with a good stroke. If you hit that ball hard to draw it six or seven inches, then you don't have a draw shot. I'm sorry to break the news to you. You should not have to slam the cue ball to shoot a draw shot. If you can't hit it as soft as I'm hitting some of these shots, then you need to work on your stroke because it is all in your stroke. It is not the ball. It is not your tip. It is not your shaft. It is your stroke that is missing. A skilled player can take the cheapest Walmart cue and shoot an eight foot draw shot with it. So don't blame your cue, the table, the, the, um, the balls, the weather, all of these excuses. The bottom line is if you can't shoot these shots soft enough to make them work, it's in your stroke. You're not hitting the ball properly. You're not following through. You're not hitting as low as you think you are. A lot of people think they're hitting it low and they're not hitting it low and your stroke is probably broken at some point. So fix your stroke, but these shots you have to hit with a low speed or you're not going to pull it off. The first one is a simple little draw shot to get on position. Here we're playing the two to get on the seven because we're playing eight ball. We just want to draw back no more than eight to nine inches and we shoot one less little draw shot to get on the eight ball. If you notice, I just touched the ball. It's less than two miles an hour, guys, to get this position. There's no English on this shot. It is all about angles. And if you can't shoot this, you are missing a lot of runouts. And I see players all the time. They've got a six foot draw shot. They don't have a six inch draw shot. Get that shot in your game. Let's look at the next shot. This next shot is very simple, but once again, I'm always surprised how many players do not have this in their game. You are straight in on the two ball. You need to get on the eight. What does the intermediate player do? He shoots a follow shot here, and then he cuts the eight ball in the pocket. Well, that works. It works until something like this happens. Now what? Now you have a situation where you got yourself straight in. You can't get over here and just cut the eight in because you can't see it. You're straight in the pocket. And this is a situation that comes a lot. <laughs> People get straight in so often because they're not thinking I got to get on one side of the ball or the other. So what happens when this happens? What do you do? You just draw it back to this rail here, guys. You're gonna bounce it out. There's no English, nothing special that needs to be done. Good follow through, you bounce out, and now you're in all this space that puts you on the eight. If you're not using the rails to get position with your draw shots, you are just missing a ton of shots. The great thing about the draw shot, the most important thing about the draw shot, the thing they won't tell you about the draw shot, is it is 50% of the direction you're gonna be going when you're playing pool. Yes, if we have a choice, we take a follow shot, but you need to be able to go the other way. The There's guy. a very interesting phenomenon <laughs> with the draw shot. If I give a player this and tell him to draw it back here, he doesn't seem to have a problem with it. 
when this angle comes in and it becomes a cut shot, all of a sudden he doesn't have a draw shot because he's not hitting enough of that ball to satisfy himself to draw it back. It somehow becomes a problem. This is a very important shot to have because without any English at all, I can shoot this 15, draw it back and get on the 13 without any issue. But if you can't shoot a draw shot when you have an angle, you're missing a good 30, 40% of your position plays. And if you have a situation like this, where you have a ball down table, and once again, you guys have seen me shoot these shots for you, where I talk about putting low right hand English and things like that on it. Here we have a situation, we're on the 10, we wanna move in line with the 13. This, there's no English on this, this is a straight draw. We come down here, look at this shot, we're moving right in line with this 13. If you wanna get more ambitious about it, you hit it harder and you have a nice situation. Now here, just a little bit of stun and we're automatic on the eight ball, but we're moving in line with that shot just because we were able to shoot it with draw. If you have a draw shot when they're straight on, you've got a draw shot when they're here as well. You just need to acknowledge, I'm still gonna be hitting this ball full. It's going to take a slightly different angle. Where is that angle gonna be? And if I don't know for sure, then I need to learn it. Let's look at something else. Classic draw shot situation. We're straight in. Notice a lot of the draw shot situations are straight in. Good thing you've got the other 50% of the table available to you, right? Because you shoot a follow shot here, follow for dough, right? Yeah, you're following for dough, you're giving me the dough if you shoot a follow shot here every time. Just write a check, mail it to me. You don't have to show up to the game because if you're shooting a follow shot here, you had no chance at the money. This is a draw shot situation and the balls are two diamonds away. You build up to this. If you don't have this shot, you build up to it. It is not a difficult shot, it is an intermediate shot. You, what you're gonna do is get, step into the shot, good follow through. You're just gonna draw it back. You don't even have to have great speed to come back here and hit this rail and be on this eight ball. You just shoot your draw shot, come back here, you have perfect position. Guess what? If I didn't have that kind of speed control, I bounce out and I'm here. Makeable shot. If I didn't have that kind of speed control, the cue ball stops here. Makeable shot. Guess what? Bam, still makeable shot. Follow shot, like I said, don't even show up. Just write the guy a check, mail it to him, stay home and watch Netflix. Let's look at one more thing. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know what I call this shot. America's favorite scratch shot. Right now, there's some guy in a bar. There's hundreds of guys in bars all over the country as we speak that are doing that. Why? They act like they've never seen the shot before. <laughs> they scratch on it on a regular basis. Some of them scratch on this shot more than they change their underwear. This is a very well-known scratch shot, probably the most famous scratch shot in the world. I taught it to one of my students who was in Switzerland. I actually saw a video where he was playing with another guy and I, I don't speak German, but he says to the guy in German, yeah, my trainer calls this America's favorite scratch shot. Yes, it is. All you have to do guys is to make sure you change the trajectory of the cue ball, shoot your best draw shot here. You are going to miss that pocket by a good two, three feet. Now, if, if you recognize this situation, you have to recognize it in other situations on the table. It doesn't come up just here. There's a lot of scratch shots that a lot of you know where the tangent line is because you say things like, oh, I thought I might scratch there. If you thought you might scratch, why not change the trajectory of the ball by just putting a little bit of draw on it. Stop trying to slap English on these shots to change the direction of the ball. That's not the way English works. English works when you are coming off of a rail and changing direction or you want to throw a ball. It does not work to, change, to curve that ball on the way down the table unless you mass say it or it's got a tremendous amount of spin and it's traveling a long distance. That is not something we change with English. You change it with draw 
or an extremely large amount of follow, but um, you're more likely to just get to that corner pocket much quicker if you shoot it with follow. Thanks for watching guys. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think and watch our video on draw shots with English and your entire world will expand. Hit us in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribing, I'm embarrassed for you because your competition is watching and you're missing a lot of videos. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.